Hello everybody. I'm let's see doing a creative world here, so I'm going to change that to creative. And I'm just going to take what I can get here. Just going to use a random seed. See what happens. Oh. Wow. Weird. Dogs. What's up with all the dogs? I don't know. Anyway, we've got the. Uh, there's a little glitch right there. There's a little glitch for you. If you notice the uh, the name is behind the slider there. Wow! Look at all that chain leggings, chain mail, stuff I don't even need. Ender pearls. Rotten flesh, melon. But that's the melon item map. What can I do with map? Huh. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you got all the items here. What is this? Bedrock, uh, moss stone, stone slab, sandstone slab. Stone bricks slab. That's a new one. Glass pane, glass, glass pane. Hmm. Another new one. Melon. Ooh, let's test out the melon. I want the melon. Cool. Oh! Insta mining there. Have to get used to that. Snow, ice, chest. Ooh, I want to test out the chest. Yeah, chests are weird now. I have that. It's hard to see it, but there's an animation they have open up. So that's cool. Uh, what else we got here? Anything else new? Apples. Golden apples. Of course, the ender pearl. We got cooked pork chop. Got steak. Got cooked chicken. Rotten flesh. The ender pearl. Uh, these mine carts with chests. They're supposed to look funny. Anyway, this is creative mode. I don't know that I would necessarily ever play in creative mode just because I'm not that interested in... Uh, I get a lot of satisfaction out of mining. I think uh, I spend about 90% of my... You know, 80 to 90% of my... I spend about 80% of my time mining in Minecraft and about 15%... No, I'd say about 10% building I'm out another 10% exploring uh, if I was going to change that in any way I would probably add some to the exploring I probably do a little bit more exploring than I give myself credit for but I do a heck of a lot of mining um, and I get a great pleasure from that and I'm not what you would call a builder I guess you would say I'm not really much into uh, I do build, and uh, I just I just find it hard to stay focused on a building project uh, for long periods of time. So I'll I'll work on building something for a little while, and then I'll go mine for a while, which is pretty cool, I guess. For me, it's kind of um mm, relaxing. The mining is relaxing to me, so. I don't really have to think about what I'm doing. I'm just kind of randomly, and I, you know, it's not like I'm just sitting there, you know, mining and not doing anything. I like to listen to podcasts, you know, or listen to music or something like that while I'm doing it. So, anyway, I thought I'd show you the creative mode. There's not much to it really. There's um.
just the uh, fact that you can get all the items is pretty neat. Some of these items I've never seen in game. I uh, just never crafted them or never found them or like the golden apples are extremely 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 rare um, and one thing I have noticed about this uh, new terrain generators there's not as many open pits um, to uh, to go down into like open mines that are just uh, coming up to the ground Here's some pine trees, and I hope they keep these. I hope that you can come into pine forests uh, that don't have snow. I'm not a big fan of the snow terrain, to be quite honest. And uh, so I hope that they do have pine forests outside of the snowy areas. I don't know if they will or not, but that would be cool, I think. I think these look nice, look much nicer outside of the snowy terrains. But I was thinking I'd wander around here and find a hole to get into, but I'm, I'm not finding anything, and it's, um, I haven't seen a whole lot of those, especially in some other videos I've seen on YouTube. I haven't seen a lot. Now, here's a little river. It's a river. That's kind of cool. It's a very short river. Oh, it keeps going over here. Well, here's something. Wow, look at that. Oh, it's an abandoned mine. Ah, oh, cool. Let's go over here. Is this what are the is this what a ravine is, or is this part of the abandoned mine? That's something I can't quite figure out. I don't wanna die here. Oh this is creative. I don't have to worry about dying. Okay. Oh, this is creative, I can fly. Ah, cool. How do I go back down? I don't know how to go down. I like that. Neat. So you double tap to fly and double tap to come back down. But this is this is kind of cool and this is what's neat I think about this is you can this is a great way to get railroad tracks <laughs> if you could find one of these uh minecart tracks are going to be a lot easier to uh to get so you don't have to craft them you know every one of them all the time so it's going to make that achievement uh the 1000 block minecart uh achievement much easier to uh to attain how do I get out of here? Wow, okay, that's that's so neat. So that's cool. Let's fly on up. So we got here, got a river. It flows off this way, kinda ends out here, or starts there. I don't know which. That's one thing that, as time goes on, I, I kind of wish that, that uh, wow, I've got a huge desert here. I wish that water worked a little bit more naturally. Let's see how far you can go up. I guess you can just go up infinitely. I don't know how high it will let you go. One thing I do like that I've heard about but have not been able to test is that these clouds are actually um, above your block limit so you don't have clouds um, floating through your house if your house is on top of a mountain or something like that so yeah there we go so let's actually I do know of a way to test that go back to my original world and where am I headed wow I've got a long ways to walk Ow. I kind of like this new uh, health feature where it, your food bar determines whether or not you gain health. Uh, that way you don't have to be carrying stuff with you all the time. Or you can carry stuff with you all the time, but you don't have to eat something 
just because you lost half a heart or something like that, I mean, you can get your half heart back. So it's going to kind of suck when you're in a battle and you can't really uh, heal very quickly. But I'm hoping that in a, in a future update they'll give you something like a you know a health shot or uh, some way to gain health instantly that would be kind of neat so it'll also be interesting to see what happens with the uh, what you might call it the uh, experience experience points that'll be interesting I like how this water is a lot more transparent than it used to be. It's and it's got these little floaty things in it. Little just little air bubbles or something. I don't know. It's kind of how you know there's water is just not perfectly clear. You can see little things floating in it, so I kind of like that but it's not nearly as dark and that could have something to do with my brightness settings I've actually changed my uh, brightness got it fully bright so let's see yeah it does make it a little bit seems like it makes it, the water a little bit less transparent when you have it on the moody setting but um, I probably won't keep it on moody I'll probably keep it bright because I've never particularly cared for uh, the darkness of Minecraft, especially when it comes to making videos. If it gets dark outside and you're making a video, nobody can see anything unless you've got everything torched and lit up. And now you'll be able to make videos, and people will be able to see what you're doing when it's when it's nighttime outside. So and. You know, if they want to keep maybe some of that, I was thinking about this the other day, they could keep a, uh, a portion of that by uh, having a segment when it gets dark of time, uh, just a segment, a short segment of time, maybe a minute, where it is really dark outside and then it gets lighter and lighter because th that's how your eyes naturally work. As the, the longer you, if you go outside on a dark night, and you're not in a city with you know lights. You're out in the country somewhere. Um, you sh you know your eyes will adapt to the darkness, and you'll actually be able to see a lot of stuff, uh, even though it's it's basically pitch black. I mean, no moon, nothing, but you'll still be able to see quite a bit. And uh, so, if they could figure out a way to kind of preserve some of that um, for. Uh, this you know so that I think that'd be pretty cool and then in the same instance maybe you know when the sun does come up maybe your eyes take a uh, 30 seconds or a minute to uh, the first 30 seconds to a minute of daylight are kind of ultra bright and kind of makes it a little bit difficult to see uh, because it's too too bright so that that might be neat uh, I'm not sure how difficult that would be to implement and I don't think they ever will, but uh, it's an interesting idea. Be something a modder could work on, maybe. Let's see, how far am I from my spawn? Oh, God, I'm just going to keep hitting the F3 button there. I've got to walk about 500 blocks in uh, the direction I'm going now seems like you do walk a little bit faster in this and of course there is sprint which you just double tap uh, the forward button and you sprint there we go it kinda changes your uh, perspective a little bit too oh yeah I'm getting close to my spawn area here so that's good because I'm going to go over here to my tower and go up to the top of my tower and see if where the clouds are at. It's getting dark. It's about to get dark. Wow, you really use up that uh, food sprinting. Uh, 
this, so that's... Oh. Ow. So you'll see here in a minute what I'm talking about, my tower. So F doesn't work anymore. Let's... I want to look at one more thing here. Uh, video settings, render distance far, normal, short, tiny, far, okay. Performance, balance, power settings. Okay. Some settings there I definitely want to play around with a little bit. Let's see if I can sprint here. Get my sprint on. I don't think I have enough food to sprint anymore. <laughs> I'm going to have to definitely do something about that. But food is stackable as well, so that's that's cool. That'll help a lot. You won't have to uh, use up so many slots to carry food around. In fact, I'm going to get me a steak right here. Check that out. Raw beef. Can you eat as in you walk really slow when you're eating? That's interesting. So we'll go up here to the top of this thing. Wow. Oop, fell off the edge. Try not to fall off here. This will take me just a minute to get up to the top. And uh, it's a nice view. Love those, the sunsets are really nice. Uh, I think there's a way you can change the time too, but I can't, I can't remember. There's, it's one of these. F buttons, I think. That might be in creative mode only, though. So let's up, oh, almost at the top. Well, I think I'm almost at the top. Getting close, I think. Hard to tell. Should have put a ladder on this thing instead of these stairs. <laughs> oh, me. Yeah, I'm at the top now. Or close enough. Getting close. Getting close. There we are. So, yeah, here's the clouds up here at the top. Uh so they shouldn't pass through uh, at your house you can't build any higher than what I built here so and in fact I might have built slightly higher than you're supposed to build now because I think there's a, actually a limit but let me see if there's a uh, oh there's a five So that does. Oh yeah, there it is. Look at that. I can totally make the day go by. And uh, so that's that's F six, and then F seven makes it go backwards. Interesting. So there's the sunrise. I don't know how to make it slow down to normal time though. I don't is there a button that does that? So 
So yeah, here's sunset. And you can see the horizon kind of gets this orangey glow on it. And when you're on the ground, hopefully I won't die doing this. Yes. When you're on the ground and you, you can see a, f a long way out, I don't know if you'll be able to do it with this view, but um, the it's kind of an orangey haze, which reminds me of uh, being out west in the western United States. Like that. Let me see. Can I rewind this a little bit? Yeah. So wait, no. F6 is rewind. I have my directions backward there. F6 is rewind and F7 is forward. And... Yeah, look, see that, that kind of orangey glow, kind of that misty haze there. It's very cool. I like that. So, yeah, F6 backs up time, F7 moves it forward. Got our sheep. Wow, this is cool. Anyway, enough of that. Look at these chests. These are kind of weird. There's something, uh, <laughs> something going on with that. There's some definitely some glitches here. Uh, look at that. So these, my perpetually burning chests. These are these furnaces. They are always burning. So here's some things that are going to have to change. I, I think uh, some glitches that they got to work out. But we'll see. Sleep for the night. Peace out. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.